right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, and he caught the kick. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big kick. Straight right is there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Battle for position here. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Big knee there to the chest. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh! Wild swing there. It's okay. Keep going. Able to check the high kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Pretty good right hand. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, nice, nice. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It Great fight. Oh, straight right. Look at him drive his chin. It's so a strong five minutes down. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight. All right, here we go with round two. Watch the strike. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt back. Oh, oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent here very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponents. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, no! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. 
pad. And a knee. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, go fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. So a much different approach from... Whoa! Oh, smokes. Oh, that diving punch landed. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches, but it's very... Now the guy's got on bar, he's attacking it on him. Attacking on bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. This might just be a matter of time. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Nikita Al Capone celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys sort of waiting to exhale get a huge win tonight and not just the win but they get it by submission they knew what they had in front of them they knew how tough a competitor his opponent was but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground they could find a submission they found a submission he got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most